yeah. Hey yo, hey yo. The show has begun. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Because I am a truck driving man. Hey everybody, welcome to the poker sesh. Live from Las Vegas. You can see in the background the beautiful city of Las Vegas. I did my best. I, I didn't think I had. I should have got a strip view. But normally I don't care whether I have a strip view or not. I like the golf course view. So behind me is the golf course. You can't see it because it's fucking dark. That's why I should have got the strip view. Whatever. Um, I like watching the golfers during the day. I mean, I like... I look down there and I see the little golfers and I try and see them hit shots. It's very... I can't say gay. What's the other word? The whatever is not gay, but sounds like gay. But I just watch the, I watch the golfers. <laughs> I try to get in trouble right at the front, very beginning of the show. Uh, we got a special guest tonight. His name is uh, Jorge Limon. He's the other, um, he's the other Lyman. And for a long time, people have been like, oh, you know. They get us confused or, oh, you're that guy. You're that, you're that, that, that dicky guy from two plus two fucking plays in the cash game on live of the bike. Then, no, he says, no, no, that's not me. I, I'm Jorge Limon. And then they tell me like, oh, you're, you're that Mexican guy, the, the cash game Mexican player from poker stars. I say, oh, no, 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 that's not me. I'm, I'm like Lyman. I'm that guy. I'm the other guy. I want the Afro. So tonight we're going to get it all figured out, hopefully, if the uh, phone works, which it never does. But Hopefully we're going to get all that figured out. First, yeah, people, I already saw people noticing my hair. Yes, my hair, I told you guys, like, if you watch the show, you know that um, I use the big bar of soap, but I like the little soaps. Like, I don't buy soap. So when I'm in Vegas and I see all the little soaps, I just go crazy. It's like, oh, little soap heaven. So in Vegas, my hair looks way different than in Los Angeles because in Los Angeles, I'm just using the big bar of soap that my aunt and uncle gave me for Christmas. You know, your aunt and uncle always gives you some stupid fucking gift. They gave me a giant bar of soap. Like, what are you going to use this for? Like, most people would just throw it away. But I'm just like, whatever. I just rub it on my head. But then when I'm in, like, Las Vegas and I get all the little soaps, oh, my God. Oh, the little soaps. Oh. oh. So that's, uh, this is my, my little soap head. When I have the little, the little b bottles of soap, I just dump them on my head. Um, so, you know, we're in Las Vegas, so we might as well celebrate. You're going to see some planes take off in the background. It's great. Got some champagne. Going to pop the bottle. I know you guys like the, like the audio. So let's get the audio. First, I got to, I can't smoke a cigar tonight because I can't smoke a cigar in the room. I'm at the fabulous Palazzo. Hotel and casino. I, mean, I guess I'm supposed to say that the bike is better, but I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> but I can't say fuck Sheldon Adelson, right? Everybody can say that. So people are like, oh, why, why are you at the Palazzo? You know, you're giving Sheldon Adelson your money. I'm not giving Sheldon Adelson fucking jack squat. Nothing. Fully comped. No fucking dollars coming out of my pocket. And the gambling, I've been counting cards. So I take, when I stay at Sheldon Adelson's casino, I take money from him. I do not give money to him. This is how you do it. You don't run from Sheldon Adelson. You run to Sheldon Adelson. If, if you, oh yeah, this is going to explode, isn't it? Oh fuck, this is going to be horrible. I got into a tirade. Oh, my wife just told me this is going to explode. But anyway, if you're a professional gambler, you do not run from Sheldon Adelson. You run to Sheldon Adelson. He's happy when you run away, just like poker stars. If all the pros leave, like a fuck the pros. He's happy if you run away. You run towards him. I'm teaching you guys how it's done here. Because, see, I think about this shit. A dumb person would be like, ah, fuck Sheldon Adelson, I'm never going there. A smart person would be like, Fuck Sheldon Adelson. I'm fucking going there. And I'm going to give him a... Okay. So now I'm going to open this champagne and it's going to be... Oh, it's... 
God, I don't even know what direction because I can't spray it on the computer. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Ch I don't have a glass ready. Okay. Oh, please, please, God, don't let this be a total mess. Oh! Yes! Just the nice steam! All right. See, I didn't shake it too much. Now, here we go. Oh. 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 Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh. Cheers, everybody. And you might be saying, oh, well, Lyman, you're not even drinking it out of the correct stemware. Well, you would be wrong. Because it's actually better to drink champagne out of a wine glass. The only reason why people drink champagne out of a champagne glass is because of the bubbles. They want it, it's like a, it's a bubble thing. But the, to, the actual flavor and bouquet, the flavor and bouquet, is better out of a wine glass. So I always drink champagne out of a wine glass. Oh, that's fucking good. Oh, that's fucking good. Oh, bready. Bready. Little citrus, bread. Nice minerality. Acidity, medium plus plus. Light straw in color. Oh, love it. Uh,